Welcome back, True Believers, to another Spider-Man PS4 video, and today I am talking about what this game will mean for Marvel as a whole, as a company, as a studio, as a game developer, and so on. So, just to recap a couple of things. A, since this game is a, is a PS4 exclusive, much like other PS4 exclusives that we have had in the past, like Infamous, Uncharted, Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank, and so on, we can expect this game to get the treatment it deserves. And yes, granted that games uh, relating to superheroes before, like Batman, the Arkham series, and other superhero games in the past have been multi-platform, they have still been a success on those platforms. Just like all these other games we have had regarding all these other heroes that we know and love. But this game is way, way, way different compared to any of the other games we have had in the past. This game will show us, as fans of Spider-Man and other Marvel heroes, what a true, dedicated, 100% passionate game can be if the developers care about their hero that they are making. And that is exactly what in Marvel and Insomniac Games are doing with this character and once we see spider-man in action in this game we will know that they have done an incredible job because i believe that this game will be the best spider-man game we have ever had in history of all games before and i think possibly the best superhero game ever and since i believe that i think that the case that these games or this spider-man game will be coming out it is going to have the possibility to create new other games that can come out from Marvel and from other people that Marvel has made in the past, like other characters Marvel owns and other people that Marvel know how to make certain gaming properties with. Like in my previous video, you can check out, I give my recommendations of what Marvel games could possibly come out or uh, that they can make, uh, not from certain developers, but I just mean in general as a whole that Marvel can make these games as well as what the possibilities could be as the game title and the game genre. Like, for example, this is a free-roaming action-adventure Spider-Man game, so, uh, you know, other Marvel heroes could have a different genre, like a third-person shooter, a investigation detective horror thriller game, a, you know, just all-around uh, thriller um, suspense game, kind of like Until Dawn, if any of you have played that PlayStation exclusive game. It was a huge horror game that did successfully, successfully well, which was also a PlayStation exclusive, and look how amazing that turned out. So, basically, the success that Spider-Man will have will maybe let him to be able to be branched out into other areas and consoles such as Xbox and Wii U, but for now, Sony is doubling down on the exclusiveness just to create a fully authentic gaming experience for Spider-Man and his fans that we can all enjoy and appreciate. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope it was informational and, you know, exceptionally hopeful for you to get your hopes up for this game, as it sure has made me, and I can't wait to have this game come out, and more videos will definitely come for this video, for this game that you guys can expect from me and my personal opinions of what it can do for the future of all fans of Marvel and Spider-Man. So thank you all for watching. Tune in next time for my next video and have fun with this one. Peace.